Yo, what up YouTube? My name is Brandon Losada, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create an infinity inception type of illusion effect in Photoshop. It's really, really easy, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Alright, so now we're in Photoshop and this is an image that I created while I was in the Bahamas and we're going to add the infinity inception illusion effect to this image. So this effect is super, super simple, so let's just get right into it. First thing you need to do is you need to select that layer and you want to hold Control J or Command J three times so you can create four copies. So one, two, three. Now you have four copies of your image. So the next thing you want to do is you want to select the top layer and then left click on the anchor up here and it'll change this toolbar to have all these options here. And what we want to do is we want to click on this maintain aspect ratio button. So when we change the width or the height, it'll change both of them at the same time and maintain the aspect ratio obviously so for this top layer we're going to select 40 percent and that's going to change the height and the width so 40 and there you go the first layer is done so press enter and then we're going to go to the layer right under that select that do the same exact thing left click on the anchor press maintain aspect ratio and instead of 40 percent we're going to change this one to 60 percent press enter select the next layer below left click on the anchor maintain aspect ratio, and then instead of 60%, we're gonna make this 80%, press enter. So now we have the four layers here and you can already see the infinity kind of illusion effect forming, but the next thing we're gonna to need to do will give the image a lot more depth and more of a 3D type of feel. So we're gonna select the top layer again, right click, go to blending options, and you wanna add an inner shadow to this first layer so click on inner shadow it'll add a check mark there and the settings that I'm going to use you could play around with them depending on your image is distance 0 choke 50% and size 50 pixels and with a color of black press ok so you're gonna to need to repeat that again for the next two layers so we're gonna to go to the layer under that right click blending options and then just add a check to inner shadow it'll use the same exact settings from last time press ok go to the layer under that right click blending options and click inner shadow again and press ok and that's pretty much it this effect is really really simple and it creates a very unique looking effect and you could actually do the inverse of this where you add an outer shadow and it will look like the middle image is popping up like it's the top of some sort of pyramid instead of having more of an indented feel with the inner shadow that we just did right here Here's what the full image looks like, and here's also a bonus image that I did a similar effect to. If this video helped you out in any way, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.